All right, let's torture test Radeon Super Resolution on my RX 6600, which is not a 4K graphics card. Now, don't worry, I'm gonna do other testing, but I've gotta record this before work. I'm on a 4K screen, and I have now activated Radeon Super Resolution in the, in the uh, uh, Radeon software. Now, you will have to download that. Uh, and you can get that off of AMD's website. I might have time to put a link in the description to this video. So you have to get their very latest graphics driver that just released a few minutes ago as of the time of my filming. Now, as you can see, if I'm actually playing this game at 4K, I believe I have it on the high preset, this graphics card actually can deliver a roughly 30 FPS experience at 4K, which is honestly pretty impressive given its, uh, given its uh, you know, 1080p nature. But what if I could get a less good quality image, um, but have it actually um, perform a lot better? That's what Radeon Super Resolution is for. And the reason I selected Elden Ring is because Elden Ring does not have any kind of advanced uh, upscaling techniques. There's no DLSS, there's no FSR. If your game has DLSS or FSR, you should use that instead. Hey, my message got appraised. Let's try rendering the game at 1440p. And now it's going to be applying basically FSR, but applied to the entire image instead of uh, right before the menus and post-processing effects. And you know what? We're now at almost 60 FPS. On my variable refresh rate screen, it's basically wouldn't, doesn't feel any different than 60 FPS. And you know, this is not necessarily the most demanding place in the game. This is just legitimately where I was playing the game last night. <laughs> just fired it up and tested this out. And I've got to say, I can absolutely tell that I'm not at 4K, but I can also absolutely say that this looks better than just running the game at 1440p with no real upscaling technique applied at all. Now, you notice a huge stutter there. That is not Radeon Super Resolution. That is the fact that I just installed a new graphics driver and Elden Ring is a stuttery mess still. And Elden Ring, by the way, got a new patch last night. I think we just confirmed loading new information, especially when you just reinstalled your graphics driver, still causes stutters in Elden Ring, which isn't the point of this video, but it is something that people may have been curious about. Okay, let's go ahead and try out upscaling from another resolution. So to be clear, you have to turn on Radeon Super Resolution in your graphics driver. You go over to the settings and then to the game settings, you enable it. And then just once it's enabled in your game, by the way, the game has to be in full screen mode and games that do not support full screen mode are not gonna be able to do this, which is unfortunate because some big games right now don't actually support full screen mode because in DX12, you don't really need full screen mode for full performance if it's programmed properly. But for a technique like this, you actually do need it. Let's upscale from 1080p. All right, now we are definitely locked to 60 FPS and the graphics card isn't even working that hard, at least in this particular scene. Although now I can definitely tell the grass looks very shimmery and low res at my 4K monitor's native resolution. And notice that this game is actually locked to 60 FPS, so it's not really the best example of showing off the frame rate boost, but it is a great example of a game that doesn't have any built-in upscaling techniques um, where this technology should actually be super helpful. Hey, there's some enemies here, man. Maybe we should kill them. Um, but there is one problem. This is only supported, at least currently. I have a feeling this will get updated because I don't see any good reason for this limitation. But currently, this is only supported on 5,000 series and 6,000 series graphics cards. So 5,000 and up is the limit for um, the cards that this is supported on. I believe I have a cure poison thing I could do here, guys. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and try one other thing, which is um, you can actually select any resolution you want here. So 1800p, I believe, is equivalent to basically FSR ultra quality trying to upscale to 4K. So I'm gonna try that one out and Away we go. So this is clearly not gonna get me 60 FPS at 4K on this graphics card, 
but I can tell you that it is better than we were getting at native 4K, at least by a bit. Um, although I think at least for this card in this particular game, um, it definitely seemed like the 1440p upscale was the sweet spot. Now, I definitely plan on testing this out a lot more, but honestly, guys, I'm filming, filming this video uh, <laughs> right before work. This graphics driver just launched right before I was going to leave for work. And as long as I end this video quick and get it uploading, I probably won't be late to teach first period geometry. <laughs> Anyway, so the basic idea is that you um, have to go into your graphics driver and you go to your settings tab, graphics. Again, you have to have the 22.3.1. I hope this is filming, by the way. I, I should be uh, showing you this. So again, we're on the 22.3.1 released as of uh, uh, now. Sorry, no, the uh, 20, yeah, there we go. Uh, and then you go to the graphics setting in the settings graphics, you enable the Radeon super resolution, and then it will upscale to your monitor's native resolution from whatever setting you choose in the game. If the game has FSR support, you shouldn't use this. I'll test this out more thoroughly and even direct comparison with FSR uh, in the future, and I hope all of you have an excellent day.